All right, guys, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Uh, actually, two things that are different. I'll be doing a first impressions video and trying something for the very first time on camera, which I usually don't do. Most of the times when I do something, I've tried it out once first off camera, and then I'll do it again for you guys so that way I don't screw up. But this time, I'm going to be doing it on camera. And then the other new thing that I'm doing is I'm actually talking to you instead of doing a voiceover. So hopefully I do a good job because I do not plan on doing this over again. I'm going to be doing a flat twist and curl and I will show you the technique in just a few minutes. If you want to skip to the tutorial, I'm going to leave um, the time at which that starts in the description box below. Um, so the first impressions, I guess you can call it a review slash demo, is going to be of this Ion Color Brilliance Metallics Temporary Liquid Hair Makeup. Now, I just did a video on a temporary um, spray-on hair color from Jerome Russell Beauty, and I saw this in Sally Beauty, mm, it's probably been like a month ago, and I've really been wanting to use it, um, but I couldn't find any reviews on it online. Well, I should take that back. I found two reviews. One was a blog post, and I think it was a girl with like bleach blonde hair. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. And then the other review I found on YouTube, I just wasn't that impressed with it. However, from some of the um, reviews online, like on the actual product itself, you know, written by customers, they talked about how this stuff could leave your hair feeling very dry. And my hair is naturally curly. It's naturally dry already. I don't need anything that's going to make it even drier. So with a little bit of research, I decided that I would, sorry. So with a little bit of research, I decided that I would mix the metallic hair liquid makeup. Oh, and by the way, it comes in like a squeezy tube like this. So unlike the Jerome Russell spray on, obviously there's no spray. So this can get really, really messy and listen, it's really, really liquidy too. So I figured I would uh, pair it with my Eco Curl and Styling Cocktail because it's creamy and I think it would mix well with this. That way when I put the cocktail of the color, well sorry, of the color and the cream, um, the color will still deposit onto my hair but my hair will also be moisturized and because this stuff has a little bit of hold in it hopefully it'll last for more than an hour in this Florida humidity. But I'm going to be using Ion Color Brilliance Metallics in Rose Gold. Did I say that before? I don't know. It's Rose Gold. And then also my um, Eco Curl and Styling Cocktail from the makers of Eco Styler. And then I've got my gloves so I don't make a mess. I've got my towel so I don't make a mess. And then the perm rods for the ends of my hair. And I think that's it. Oh. And I bought two boxes. That way when I mix it with the white cream, the color will still pay off. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm also gonna be mixing it in a mixing bowl. One must protect herself and her clothing at all times. All right, so first I'm just gonna pour, just take the top off. And these retail for $7.29. It's kind of expensive for one bottle, but if you can catch it on sale, like they usually, Sally Beauty, Sally Beauty usually has like a buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one free sale on the Ion colors, or get a coupon, or use a Sally Beauty card, you'll probably get some, a couple dollars off. I think with my discount, it ended up being, with tax, $6.24. So anyway, I'm gonna pour the first Bottle number two.
so the bowl and brush method was not working for me so I ended up putting the color mixture into a different squeeze bottle. All right, so I'm all finished. I'm going to sit under the dryer whoop, for a little while. Um, I believe the instructions say that once you're done applying the color to blow dry it. But, you know, obviously that's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer for a little bit, hopefully get this color to set and um, I'll be back. After sitting under the dryer for a couple of hours, my hair still wasn't dry, so I ended up having to take the front rollers out so I could leave the house. Um, so as you can see, I have more rollers in my hair now than when I started because I re-rolled those pieces. Yes! Oh my gosh, I like, love it so much. Okay, so, you guys, I am super excited, oh my gosh. And I absolutely, positively adore it. And I did not think that it would turn out this well. Like, it's just, and I'm just, and I just love it. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all on the next one.